flying through a strand of millions of galaxies, the computer selects one at random. It's a compact spiral galaxy, a mere 50,000 light years across. While scanning a small section of the galaxy, the probe found a star, suitable for life. Two unique objects are detected very nearby the star, a planetary nebula and a black hole. Planetary nebulas are usually formed when a red giant sheds its outer shell and becomes a tiny white dwarf. The probe begins heading towards the black hole to take some readings. Maintaining a safe distance, the probe does not get sucked into a tiny strand the width of an atom. A safer distance away, the probe reaches the star, which could harbor life. Passing a ringed desert planet, the first preliminary scans of the habitable planet have been confirmed. The planet does indeed have water, and oxygen is detected in the atmosphere. The probe lines up its approach. It will make a small stop at the moon of the planet. Finally, reaching the moon, the probe prepares for its first glimpse of the planet. Although no radio signals were detected, the oxygen in the atmosphere indicates that there's a strong chance of life on the surface. The probe initiates landing procedures.